Abby for Make Life Your Runway. I'm here with my weekly makeup basket with my dog Morty sitting on my lap per usual. Um, anyways, I just have a few products that I was, let me flip this around. And Morty's kicking the tripod. Okay, we're getting it together. Morty's my dog. Did I say that? Anyways, these are the few products that I used last week. And I actually didn't really want to put these back. But today's the only time that I can film and so that I get it up on time for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it for you. Do it for you guys. So I do have a little mini haul that I will show you what I've picked up. I went about two months without buying makeup and then I like snapped. So uh, I didn't get that much but I got a few things. So I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to show you what I picked up and then we're going to pick next week's basket. And I wanted to say too that I really enjoyed this comfort zone palette this week. I did get a lot of use of mostly the top four colors and I actually did wear the green color on my lid. I said last week that I was kind of intimidated by it but I basically put this on the lid um, some matte browns in the crease and then this brown on the outer corner and it looked really nice so I was proud of myself for wearing that but anyways I have something different that I want to pull but I really enjoy this and I'm glad that I went back and pulled it. So enough of that let me put this away and I will come back and show you what I picked up. So here we go. I went to Ulta. Okay, go ahead and lose yourself. I did. So, okay, let me talk about first. I picked this up first. This is L'Oreal. This is the Infinite Pro Glow. And I got 204. This actually came from CVS. Um, they had... It was like spend fifteen dollars on L'Oreal products, get five dollars cash back, and then they had the Saint Ives scrub, um, buy one get one free. So that made the Saint Ives scrub like thirty four cents after that. So I got this and something else, and then those two face scrubs for fifteen dollars. So I thought, or no, it was twenty five dollars. I don't know. It was around $20, and I felt like it was a good deal, so I didn't go too crazy, but yeah. Sorry, I hit the camera. Anyways, I've used this once, and I really liked it. Um, I didn't use it too much because I'm trying to commit to my um, Project Pan item, the CC cream, but I am going to pull this for this week and maybe use it one or two times. Um, once I finish the item for Project Pan, then I'll use it a little bit more. So that this is the first thing that I'm going to pull. Um, yeah. So, here's that. The other thing I picked up, this is L'Oreal True Match Powder, and it is in W3. So, this was my holy grail face powder before I got into YouTube. So, I always bought this. I went through maybe like three, four, I don't even know how many I went through. And then I started watching YouTube, and I was like, I have to try everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried so many different powders, but this is the one that I've always liked. So I'm going to go back um, for two reasons. One, do I still like it as much after trying all those different ones? Is it as good as I remember? So I said for two reasons. That's really it. Because I think I love it. That's the first reason. But the second reason is because I wonder if I still love it after all. The different ones I tried. Anyways, moving on. Gonna pull that. And then what's in here, you ask? La 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 la. The receipts. Don't need that. Okay, the boring thing is just these face wipes. Right now I'm using some Say Yes to Wipes, facial wipes. They're the pink ones. I forget what kind that is but I like keeping them in my gym bag to wash off my face makeup before I work out I usually keep my eye makeup on because taking mascara off is a pain um so I'll just take my face off and yeah so I don't like the say yes to ones I'm going to keep them and use them but I'm almost done so I want to try these and see how I like them they're the formula um 10.0.6 wipe your face off Pink grapefruit. Actually, I think the say yes to are pink, pink grapefruit. But anyways, so I bought that. And then finally, this is the reason I went. Ugh. Here it is. 
The Naked Smokey. Okay, I know everyone and their mother picked it up when it was 50% off Saturday at both Ulta online in store and on um, Urban Decay's website. I don't think I spoke real words through that whole sentence. But anyways, I had to pick it up, guys. I mean, Urban Decay, I love it. And I know some people are like, Urban Decay is not worth the hype. It's just something on YouTube that people hype up. But in my opinion, it is worth the hype. I've loved everything Urban Decay, especially shadows that I've purchased. It's all great. So this is what it looks like. And to be honest, when this came out, I wasn't really interested in it, but it was $54. And so $27 just seemed like, okay, yeah, let's go for it. Um, I'm thinking they discontinued it because now it's sold out both Urban Decay and Ulta's website. But that just means something new is coming. So anyways, here it is. Um, I was kind of nervous about these middle shades because they're so dark. But I can honestly use them as eyeliners with a brush. Or I can um, kind of just smoke out my eye just a little bit on the outer crease. I don't know. I think I can make it work because I think the one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine colors in it that are not dark are definitely every day. So I'm going to pull this this week to play with it. I'm super excited about it. So pretty new and not scratched up yet. So yeah, that was my haul. I didn't go too crazy. Probably spent about $50 total. So I mean, whatever. I have no regrets. Anyways, here is the rest of my makeup. So, eyes are done. I'm going to zoom you in so we can figure out what face stuff to get. And I'm really hyper today, if you couldn't tell. I got off work pretty early. It's the beginning of the school year. I work in a school. If you work in a school or have kids in school, it's just crazy for everyone. It's crazy for the students. It's crazy for the staff. It's crazy for parents. It's crazy for re retailers. Like, it's just a lot going on. And I have had to work so much, but today I got to leave on time pretty much. And I'm just so excited. But anyways, <laughs> I need a new primer. So here we go. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is actually the last primer in my collection. So I'm going to basically only be using this until it's gone. And then we'll buy something else. So yeah. It has a pump. I love this. Actually, there have been days when I didn't wear makeup. So I put on my moisturizer and then came in here and grabbed this and put on this on my face and it just I don't know it just adds a little something that I really like all right so primer we're good um see I have these other two I have three foundations total now I have these the Maybelline the L'Oreal and this plus the one I'm panning and I just oh, I hate it I feel so bad about having this many when I know people watching this are like Girl, I got three drawers of foundation. Would you stop? <laughs> but anyways, any, yeah, I don't, whatever. Um, I was kind of mad at myself for buying that L'Oreal Pro Glow, Glow, to be honest. But then another part of me was like, you love ones, right? Okay. Kind of on a whim, want to pull um, this guy. This, if you know, is the Clinique Chub Chubby Stick in... Hefty highlight. I've been trying to pan this for a minute. And that's all that's left. So I'm thinking I could use it as an eyelid primer. Um, some people suggested that to me. And I think that might be how I end up using it up. Because the foundation and primer that I'm using right now are so glowy. That I don't need to really add much glow to my face. At least not a liquid glow. A powder glow maybe. Okay. Let's get to the blushes. What do I want? To pull. <laughs> Cargo. Haven't pulled this. These were on sale on Ulta's website. And I was really tempted to buy them. But I didn't. I mean. I just didn't. I feel like I pull this a lot. Here, let's pull this. This is Bare Minerals The One. I wore this a lot last summer, 
and I loved it and then I pulled it recently but didn't actually wear it I might have worn it once so um, it's just a very natural color so I think I will pull this one to wear and then for bronzer um which one haven't I used in a while? I haven't used this in a while. This is Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil. This one is um, Medium Deep. So this is what it looks like. Ah! I basically am just using it to set my cream um, bronzer uh, that's in a project pan. So I haven't used this in a little while. And this is about a year old. So I would, I think it's my oldest bronzer at this point. So I would really like to use it up. But hey, gonna pull some, I'm trying to pull something different, you know? All right, for highlights, I don't really have a, a lot of highlights to continually pick something different. But yes, I do. Where is it? Where is it? That's not it. We went over this last week. Elf. Illuminating powder palette. I have not given this like any love. I hunted for it. I recommended it to people. I went crazy. Then I bought it and never used it. I think I've used it five times at this point. So, this week, it's getting used. This is it. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Guys, I think that's honestly it. I have eye palette. And I have foundation, powder, mascara. Yeah. This is it. My baskets have been so little. I mean, it's okay, right? It's fine. Um, so here are the Project Pan items. Again, the concealer I'm using is Urban Decay Naked Skin in Light Neutral. This is not a Project Pan, but it's the only concealer I currently have. So I'm just going to use it use it until it's gone then i'm still using the stretch um touch insole mascara i like this it's like um a nudge between it's like one step above natural but maybe one step below like crazy intense mascara if that makes sense it's nice and then for my eye base i am determined to work through the milk NYX Jumbo Crown. So hopefully this my baskets haven't been too boring in the last few months. I just have these product, products in my collection that are so annoying that I just want to use them. And the only way I'll use them is if I keep pulling them. And I don't want to do bi-weekly or monthly makeup baskets because I just get bored too easily of like the eyeshadows and the face products. And I love interacting with you all each week. So that just means some stuff you're just going to see over and over. But then there's some new stuff. Alright guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Promise you'll see my face soon enough in a different video. But I don't know when. Maybe next week. Things are dying down a little bit at school. So once it's in its normal routine, I'll be back in my normal routine. But until then, I will catch you all in my next video. Possibly my makeup basket. Okay. Bye.